Japan, go, like, started the whole, like, rubber-suited monster or, like, Im- actual impressive practical effects. So why make Al's armor CG? There are cosplayers all over the fucking world that can make impressive armor like that. What the fuck? That's an excellent opening statement. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night Soundby, <laughs> episode 8, I think. It's 8, isn't it? Maybe it's 7 or 8, yeah, one or the other. Uh, we've been doing right, this for yeah. 8 weeks, shit. Uh, anyone getting cool. tired of it yet? Because like, I can stop this right now. No, bro, 8 is great, mate. I <laughs> no, rate no, 8 out of 8, no hate. <laughs> No, you're Can't not relate. stopping. The, you're not. You're not stopping this podcast anytime soon. I just joined. Uh, yeah, we're, we're not. We're not even. <laughs> That's gonna... why we're stopping. <laughs> 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 got food, spit, food spittle, and the fucking headset <laughs> falling off. Uh, we're not even going to reference our new member. His name is whatever the name I put on screen is. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what's well, we should have known that name first, so we can refer to him as that. Bon Jovi, there that'll do. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm Nerd Rage 36 on YouTube. Yes, he he's actually in the in the in the crew video where we talked about crew sex life and stuff. So if you enjoy <laughs> that sort of stuff, go watch that. Uh, seeing as you're new, Michael, what have you been up to lately? What what what, what have you been doing? Um, well, I'm in school right now, but <laughs> luckily it's a class. I don't. <laughs> a- anyone watching this? Is there anyone day, around? Uh, sort of, but I don't think he cares. D- do you care if I'm talking this loud? <laughs> <laughs> he's good but uh no like it's a it's a class where i don't really need to do shit and it goes on until 3 30 anyway so if i need to finish up any work then like by the time this is over i'll still have what two hours left what so. time zone are you in uh it's ten thirty right now for me oh okay west coast yeah yep. pacific standard time well uh but can that do the wave than- uh, hang on, let me get my phone. <laughs> what, um, wave to the camera. Dude. Wave. Hey! Can, can you take off a shirt? <laughs> uh, my horny Irish friend wants you to take <laughs> off your shirt. <laughs> uh no, but other than that, uh, I recently finished uh, the Xenosaga trilogy that I asked for for Christmas on PS2. And I'm currently in the middle of Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. What do you oh. think of Horizon? It is amazing. It is amazing. Granted, I understand where people are coming from in comparing it to uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. But I think there's enough differences to make, to make the two completely different. Although the whole tr- like taming horses and battling machines and climbing towers, yeah, that that is very similar. Uh, but then again, if it ain't Bruce Assassin's Creed, well, yeah, except this one isn't milked to oblivion and back. Uh, 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 no, I'll true. give it a few years. But, uh, <laughs> what I was saying about Horizon, uh, I have a really weird relationship with Horizon. I've said it before, but uh, the game's fan. The game is like a ten out of ten to me, but I hate it for no I... apparent reason whatsoever. I just don't like it. It's just it feels I reject soulless it. to him. Yeah, it feels just, soulless. Just, it has no soul to me, and I, I can't put my finger on why. Like, because games are well written and all. It's just I don't know. Here. The the anim- the animations and lip syncing in particular seem to be kind of weird, so maybe that might be the issue. But I think it's like a combination of a lot of shit. But I, I don't know I just mm. can't put my finger on it. Uh, yeah. So Nick, how about you? Oh well, Keith, I've been a a. Let's let's see where where to start. I'm playing GTA nonstop on uh, GTA Online. Racking up millions of do- pointless dollars just so I could officially say I've played Have GTA you been Online. Like nonstop for the last week, because it looks like it. Have you slept, dude? I, I, ha- <laughs> I have slept, but like I just like sitting there, like I want to get another hundred grand. Okay, I want to get another hundred grand. Okay, one more hundred grand is gonna be perfect. Okay, I need to sleep soon, but I'm gonna get one more hundred grand, and eventually. You sound like EA. Like, <laughs> yeah. Sound like EA. I need another hundred grand. So eventually, I managed to get the stuff I wanted to. Only thing I have to do now is get a yacht, which costs ten million. 
just gonna throw that out there. Ten million. It takes like at least three hours to get a million. And, and why do you want a yacht, Nick? What 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 will a yacht do for your life? Once you let me tell yacht, you. Like, let me tell you exactly why a yacht is so special. One, it has a fucking jacuzzi in it. Okay, it has a jacuzzi well, in it, I mean, and you could sit around with how your does friends. That help and you in a game? Water. How is that even? Well, this is the other thing. This is the other thing. It also has this ability to where if anyone gets close to it in the game, there's these homing like anti-aircraft thing thingamajig on it, which will shoot down any players who try to get too close to it. So it kind of has that benefit to it. But in all actuality, it's literally just to say, hey, guys, look at my big ass dick. And guess what? I own a yacht. I'm so fucking dainty, basically. I, I, I own a yacht. So a you basically game. want the yacht just so you can act like a douche online? <laughs> no, that's not the per- that's not the point. The point is, is I'm trying to turn my experience with GTA into a purely social thing, kind of like uh, uh, those stupid like PlayStation Home or uh, anything like that. Kind of but like just Saturday to the point to where soundbite coming to a soundbite near you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And recently, now that I'm kind of done binging on GTA Online, I've been playing a little bit of Abzu. Mm. Uh, it's basically this game where you're a scuba diver and you like delve into the pits of the ocean and kind of like swim around and shit and like touch stuff and interact with shit and like you can I've ride on like sharks and fucking uh, whale sharks and dolphins and seals and orcas and shit like that. What, what are we talking about? We're talking Abzu. about your Zeno. How, how Abzu. amazing she is. Don't don't make, don't call her Zeno. That's triggering. That's that's uh, <laughs> that's not conforming to her name identity. And honestly, she doesn't appreciate it. Are you assuming? Um, uh, considering your considering your considering you're wearing headphones, she wouldn't have been able to hear anyone say Zeno other than you. So you just <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna take over the podcast. Although we have to be very careful because she's easily offended. Unfortunately. Yeah, but then other than that, I started uh, Tales of the Borderlands. Don't know That's how really I feel. About, don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I hate the art style. I hate the frame rate. I hate <laughs> it's a like game. almost every. I, I hate the I voice really, acting. I just don't like Borderlands. I really liked the first uh, uh, the first Walking Dead Telltale game, but like that every other Telltale game after that, I was just like, same. eh. I mean, just the thing about Telltale games is the stories are incredible. Their stories are amazing, but to get as a game, they're just fucking awful. That, Specifically, mm-hmm. the second episode of Walking Dead One was 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 I don't know. I, I was really like engrossed with it. That was, was one where cor- you're in the house, is it? Like where you're. Yeah, yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved that. Is that the one where you it's gotta re- find the girl in the tree, in the treehouse? That's the first one. That's the first. Episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really a t- it's really a preference thing, honestly. When it comes to that type of gameplay, like a bu- uh-huh. like my buddy Alex has been like begging me to play stuff like uh, nine per- nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, which is in in the same style of a Telltale game. It's like almost point and click, dialogue centric, um, mystery games and such like that. Yeah, so. and, and mm. that kind of game has a place. It can definitely you know tell a tell a story in a more controlled way than like you know. A platformer like an FPS could. Well, maybe not an FPS, but FPS can't hey. do shit any any anyway. The only FPS that's Bioshock. ever done anything for exactly the only FPS that's ever done anything and remains my favorite first person shooter is always going to be Bioshock because there's so much diversity to that fucking franchise that I, I, just... okay. Bioshock is one of my favorite games of all time, but I would say in terms of raw gameplay, my favorite FPS is the Crisis series, just because that <clears throat> what. Uh, like it's never played any of the crisis it's, games. It's enter it's entertain like the stories are okay are, the stories are passable, but the gameplay is versatile and over the top and crazy and it's just a lot of fun. You're but can you idiots. shoot bees out of your fucking yeah. hands? Yeah, you're all idiots. The, the slaughtering grounds is obviously the greatest FPS ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that ex- is. Ex- is that bad? Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Nick, the, Nick, that game was Nick. Let me tell you this: that game that Keith just referenced, it was made by a company. A company that called Wait, did themselves. Did you say Slaughterhouse? No, uh, Slaughtering Grounds. Oh, I thought you said Slaughterhouse. I was like, was, Slaughterhouse was, was cool. <laughs> was that the one where like the blood effects were literally just taken <laughs> off of like Google Images? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, no, it, it's it's made by a company. 
<laughs> called <laughs> Digital Homicide. Uh, uh, their <laughs> name <laughs> says their name says it all. Uh, they also went went so far as to sue Jim Sterling for fifteen million dollars because he said bad things about your Fifteen million. So. <laughs> I had a question: Have you uh, have you ever have you played the remake of Slaughterhouse? Anyone in here? Not me. You mean Splatterhouse? Yeah, Splatterhouse. Yeah, that's right. Slaughterhouse. Spl- Splatterhouse. I can't believe I got that confused. You ever play the remake of Splatterhouse? Um, I have not. Though I heard the final it's, boss is glitched. It's one of those games that's like, it's like it, you want to like it. It's like this is one of them cheesy fucking games. But honestly, it's one of those games where like you could have like your arm ripped off and you could pick up your arm and start beating the shit out of the enemies with your own arm like (laughs) you can't not like that and the blood just like goes all over the fucking screen to where you can't see shit and you're just mashing square and the blood is just like (laughs) and you just hear like (laughs) screams and shit and then this Disney guy who sounds like Pete you know Pete because you play Kingdom Hearts you know exactly what Pete is yeah he's in there like oh fuck that thing and shit like that it's amazing what the fuck yeah, exactly. Just like, that, that, that's my attempt. This guy is voice. nothing but trouble and shit like that. And you just hear that shit through the whole damn thing. It's amazing. It's absolutely. It's a great game, but it's one of those games that you know, like they had a very, 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 very tight budget. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds like the video game equivalent of Evil Dead Three. <laughs> that was a game. No, it's a, uh, Evil Dead Three. The mo- <clears throat> equivalent. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Like you know they like you know they had a tight budget and you know this is cheesy and over the top and crazy so but they're gonna good. have so much fun they yeah like so they good. they want to have they want to have fun with it. Mm. Have you ever played the Evil Dead the actual Evil Dead game? Uh, I bought no, it. No, but I have I've seen I've seen enough people play it on YouTube like the Dreamcast version to know it it is really bad. Uh, I actually bought it in a pawn shop once and I brought it home and it didn't work. I'd probably save myself. Aww. No, I mean the one on PS2. Yeah, so oh. I think it's the same as the GameCube one, right? So yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like it's got Bruce Campbell on the freaking front cover holding up a chainsaw and shit with his boomstick. All, it was a I've good seen, game, really. I've only seen the Dreamcast version, and it's the one where you need to find gas. Like whenever you're fighting something, you need to find gasoline for your chainsaw, and the only way you attack with your chainsaw is like this. Hurrah! 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 <laughs> Oh no! This one had this thing like where you could like take the chainsaw and you could like spin it all the way around you like a fucking lasso and like cut them up into little bits of it was a like it was like yeah this is a PS2 game right here and it's fucking great type deal it was really good ran at sixty you had blood and guts That's you had zombies really? yeah you had blood and guts freaking everywhere zombies jumping through the walls grabbing your legs and there was time travel in it i mean come on you went back to the past with a fucking massive like minigun and like a fucking uh sword in your other hand and shit like this game was this game was so good like i remember playing it for hours and i was like dude i want to get i want to get to the past and shit i want to like start fucking with shit gotta get back back to the past gotta get back to the past yeah (laughs) Speaking of which, has anyone been watching uh, season five of Samurai Jack? No. No, we need to get. Um... Uh, what's, uh... I haven't watched Samurai Jack since I was like fucking like eight years old. Mm. Honestly, a good show, but just never really got into it, into it. Uh. We need to get Andrew in here for that. But I've got a buddy who's been who's been like sharing with me like good clips from it that and all that. Like Jick, Samurai Jick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jack, what, what, what have you been up to apart from sleeping oh, with the dog? In many ways. Um, <laughs> wow, that sounds that sounds weird. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I want an apology for that, Keith. This 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 is America. We actually we we actually take our dogs out to dinner first. We, <laughs> Unless you're in Alabama. Oh. Okay. <laughs> But uh, I, I'm, I've still been playing more um, Europa Universalis 4. I think I have like 88 hours on it in the last Jesus two weeks. <laughs> so thanks, Steam, for keeping track of that. Um, I put 13 days into a, a GTA Online, I found out. In two weeks. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, this, 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 is that, this is... 
this is that one day out of those two weeks that the fourteenth <laughs> day that you haven't played that game. <laughs> considering considering the game kicks you out of online if you don't do something in half an hour, that's impressive. <laughs> Dude, I and I spent I think like ten hours in first person mode. So, ooh. Like, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. but anyways, continue. I just thought because you mentioned hours, I thought I'd share my little side yeah, side yeah. note. Um, but yeah, so. I think I think after uh, after I finish this, I, I'll have uh, I'll have had enough of strategy games for uh, a year. <laughs> but that that's that's about all I've been doing. Been uh, been working on some stuff with with school. But other than that, you know, who cares about that? Who cares about school? <laughs> school is poor. School. Yeah. School, oh, school is disgusting. I just, just want to play video games. I just want to <laughs> play video games and cry in the corner back there. That's me in the corner. Well, how come you haven't did That's your dream, Jack? Spot. I'm waiting for you nah. to set it up. Oh, oh, where I where I cry in the corner, cut and masturbate. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting to look on YouTube and see MC Gamer sixty nine oh, four twenty. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> I, I I could do that. I guess. Please, so, dude. Please. I want you to do it so bad because I just want to see like, hey, you guys, welcome to MC, MC, MC Gamer 69420. Now, before I get into the video, I want you to smash oh, that like button, no. rate, comment, subscribe, and make sure that you share this video to Facebook and Twitter. No. And make sure you subscribe to my Patreon, which is MC Gamer 69422. And make sure that you give a meager donation of $50 so that I can keep giving you guys quality content. Now, let's get into the video. But before we do that, I want to show you my other bros. I'm going to show you my other bros. Yeah. But, but what, what I'll do... <laughs> What I'll do is every video, the description will just be the link to Xenobite. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else in the description. Just link to Xenobite. That, that, that's our plan then. That, that's what's gonna make us millions. Yeah, yeah. Pe- people are gonna be like, people are gonna be like, because the video is gonna be so dumb that you know, obviously they're gonna get you know, obviously you're from billions Xenobite if they're that of views. Dumb. Clickbait. So, uh, oh, God, it's absolutely. gonna be, so, it's gonna, it's gonna be so dumb that it's like, act, like. Ooh. The embodiment of clickbait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Um, what? What's the? What's the like psychological? Uh, I feel. I feel so dumb right now. But it's like, like, is it? Uh, is it satire or is it real? You know. Guys, I gotta be kind of quiet right now because my mommy doesn't know that I'm awake. But I really had to get you guys the final step to avoiding bully, getting bullied in school. So, uh, um, oh, I, so I've I, got, I've got some bully medicine right here. I've got a. Uh, yeah. 15 rounds of, of bully medicine right here and if you and you know what if you go to if you go to a medium sized school you know why get another 15 it'll it, it'll it'll be great no 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 see see you don't need the, you don't need to go that far when it comes to bullies all you need is an older brother with the stink eye just stare them down until they shit themselves and run away so my older brother came into school and gave him the stink eye, but what ended up happening is he ended up laughing at him. I'm really confused about like, this. <laughs> stink eye is called something different over here. Is this when you sit on the person's face until their eyes closes in? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, like, 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 like the stink eye is just staring them down until they shit themselves. Like, Okay. So, so does the shit come out of their eyes? Is that why it's called stink eye? Or is it just like normal... <laughs> Like, like Keith, give me the stink eye right now. Uh, I can't shit out my eye. I don't think it's biologically possible. <laughs> Nick, 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 give me, give me, give me some good stink eye. God, it worked. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I can see. I had my eyes. I had my eyes off. Leather, his leather belt. <laughs> anyway, speaking of clickbait, me and Nick kind of have a confession to make about a certain channel we made and is still alive. It, it's, it's oh known, dear! It, it's known as uh, it was known as How to Easy, but we changed it because it was too similar to How to Basic. <laughs> uh, what did we change it to? Do I completely forget? How, how do, do I, I do, do it? it? That's what we changed it to. <laughs> how uh, do I? How do I do it? And uh, there is one video on this channel that has, I think, it's nearly thirty-five thousand views. It's like ten seconds long, and it it's uh it's it's it, I think it's titled How to Touch Yourself, How to touch yourself pleasure. Most Pleasure. <laughs> and, it literally uh, has just touching himself on the arm and giving a thumbs up to the camera. And uh, we we try we try to rekindle that channel with other things like that, such as Donald Trump, how Donald Trump shat his day on Donald Trump. <laughs> <Donald Tramp. laughs> 
But, uh, <laughs> that would be that would be that would be the that would be the president standing on a street corner with a cigarette. That literally, what we I just googled how to Donald touch yourself. Or, yeah. I, I just looked up on YouTube how to touch yourself, and the first thing that comes up is a video titled "Try Not to Touch Yourself While Watching This." <laughs> <laughs> you, you you do realize you could have just typed in the channel name instead. You didn't have to look up that in <laughs> particular. But I'm trying to see. Picture. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see when people look up. Like like how does that have thirty five thousand views? Like like did people actually look up like because, how to touch yourself? No, and no, was no, it like one of the they, first they things? Look up. They look up. How oh, to, uh, come on. Well, you be you'd be surprised. This is gonna be super weird. But it, but trust me, this is you, you guys are all gonna laugh at this. Someone I used to know from church of all places texted <laughs> me in the middle of the night for no reason, like years after like I stopped talking to him. <sighs> ask it like straight up asking, dude, I don't know how to masturbate. Can you sh- take pictures and show me how? <laughs> Is that like, is, is that like, is that like the male equivalent? Oh, uh, you were both dudes, right? You're both dudes. Yes. Okay. Is that like the male equivalent of like how, you know, like some like lesbian girls will like go to their best friends and be like, hey, can we like practice making out for like guys, you know, <laughs> like just not, not, not for this time, but like, you know, pretty sure this was just trolling though. Well, Either did that you actually do it? Either that or he was drunk. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? <laughs> he never said he didn't do it, though. He probably did, and that's why he oh, walked up in shame. He didn't. He never said he didn't do it. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's true. So, um, did Did he enjoy your response? I, was he satisfied? I, I, did he I come back for resp- more? Did he- I just didn't respond. <laughs> I, I think he made the right decision. But uh, Jack, have you been doing that now, or have you just been playing your your nerdy? I'm gonna game? just send him a video to like Pornhub. <laughs> You'll figure I, it out. I've been. Uh, no, th- I've... this was when I still had like a flip phone. Ooh, well, I thought back. you were talking about something else there for a second. Like this is that time when I had this fucking <laughs> problem. <laughs> like it was all like I had this I had this problem, guys, where I uh, where I, I sent women unsolicited dick pics, and um, is this then real? They, are you they messing? Re- Lisa, before they, they, you finish they, this, hold. They they would receive them and be like, "Why is it black?" <laughs> <laughs> so real, okay. <laughs> and and I'd be like, I uh, I I uh, I, I you know, I got a, my dick. I had a little problem with ovens when I was younger. <laughs> that's that's excellent. So, so and I then guess... uh, my, and then no no you, you see, dude, you don't use ovens. You put a watermelon in a microwave and then drill a hole in it, and then. Hmm. <laughs> Watermelon, is that a is that a, uh, a uh, wait a watermelon in a microwave? A racial dick trap, or something? <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna lay down my watermelon dick traps out. Mm, let's see. What <laughs> you, 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 you you sent it like it's fried chicken. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, um, Keith, letting all those potatoes out. I am. I am. I'm, I'm potato overdosed. As so, oh, you've only. Jesus, do that thing. Well, you are like, what you eat. Who, who's talking? Why is my ears ringing? Okay, uh, uh, someone talk. Keith, what have you been doing? If we haven't discussed this uh, already, uh, I haven't been doing much. I, I I had a few technical difficulties, and it was in the car while I was having them. I kind of had a bit of a breakdown. So, firstly, I uh, I have a new mic. You can notice here it's a Blue Yeti because why not? I uh, destroyed my old one. I destroyed my old one. Uh, two old I ones. I stabbed so the screwdriver. You, 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 you may have noticed in the last episode that my audio quality was complete and utter horse arse cunt. Uh, because I was using a, I was using a, a mic that I wasn't used to using, this XLR mic, which I hate because it's all over the place and there's wires everywhere. Uh, uh, yeah. And, uh, Nick, wash your fucking feet. Uh, Nick, <laughs> Nick, and, is, um, Nick is indulging so, the foot fetishist in the audience. So, so um, is that you or, or do, you, do you know anybody else? <laughs> um... Set myself up for that one. So, 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 so um, I'm having a bit of a breakdown here. Sorry. What's up, fam? You triggered? I, I, I hate you, Nick. Um, I, <laughs> biting um, my tongue. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Now yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah, well done. Oh, Nick, you freaking having technical difficulties. Yeah. Very technical difficulties. Jack uh, looks like he's blowing uh, his nose in his hands. Um uh, but I, now he's I, laughing, he's probably uh, all like <laughs> uh, the, the reason I was using that shit <laughs> was, <laughs> was the, all around me are people. all around me are familiar. <laughs> um, I know that every time Yeah. <laughs> like every one of you uh, Damn it! I wish I was home. I wish I was home after Jack pulled out the knife. I would have pulled out my katana. I thought you, I was literally about to. I, I thought you were about to say something completely different there. But um, <laughs> I don't have a kid. I don't have anything. I, I have things larger than this. Like I have. I have. I have this beauty. But that that's as that's as big as I go. This is the wait, biggest wait. weapon I have. It's wait, wait. ancient MP3. Quote, quote, croc- quote crocodile Dundee. Finish an audio. Uh, I I can't. My hat oh, has T on him. There. No, okay, fine, I'll do it. Is, is that the, is that the one? That's not a knife. Ass this knife. is not. Yeah, yeah. I can hear sh- Nick, Nick, can't hear sh- it's not rocket science. Tools, audio devices, speakers, they're done. Like, come on. He can't hear us. Why am I saying it? Um, Here, let's try this. I think you just ruined everything again. But, um... Well, what could possibly go wrong even more? The, the, the reason uh, I had to use that other shitty mic was because this this blue oh, smoke. Oh, thank you. You fixed me. We <laughs> fix you, Nick. This, uh, you fixed me. You're I'm unfixable, curious. Nick. You're, you're you're just. The reason I had to I I give. I'm up. fucking fixable. I'll fucking turn me I, on the I, I had to get a new mic there. That's the end of the story. Fucking hell. If, but, um, if Nick was a girl, if Nick was a girl, he'd be like one of those one of those girls that like you you like break up with her. Or no, Nick would be one of those girls that's like, I had a dream that you cheated on me. Apologize now. The real question is, is would you do it in the butt and would you eat me eat, eat out my ass? This is so um. Oh, oh, dude, download the Next download topic. The app, download the app that makes that that takes your pictures and makes you look like a girl. I'll 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 tell you if I'd uh, if I'd uh, Nick Souza <laughs> after you do that. I've you also been um, I've I've also been watching Breaking Bad. Well, finishing watching Breaking Bad, rewatching Breaking Bad um uh, this uh, last week. Yeah, I, I'm finishing it though. So it's well, yeah, over. Nick, you can't just watch the entirety of Breaking Bad in 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 it's, one week. It's like sixty episodes, and they're all an hour long. You like underestimate my power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I and think lack you of literally sleep. can. But um, you only got twenty four hours in the day. You got to have like a three monitor setup running. Like better yet, five monitor. There was five seasons, right? Uh, yeah, five five and a half. But five, five monitor like setup. <laughs> How many episodes Running, per season? Like 12, uh, 12, 13, uh, and then 16 in season 5. Because they split it into two and made it longer. Easy. You just have every season running at the same time. Duh. Mm. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to do the math here. So it's like 12, 13, uh, how many episodes per season again? Uh, so I think it's, you know what, let's just look this up on IMDb. Yeah, I was doing that. Number of breaking bad. So, because everyone cares so much. There are sixty-two breaking bad episodes. So um. And they're like an hour. Up, okay, so hour, an hour a piece. So that's sixty-two hours. Yeah, you could do that in a week. I watched Bleach for like thirty-two. I mean, I've watched Bleach for like uh, thirteen hours one day, and I think I, I got I to like episode that. fucking. That must be incredibly boring. Like, what, like, do you put do you put it in your toilet or do you just like you just put it on the walls and watch it? Like, dude, I down? sat on the couch for like thirteen hours straight watching it because it was so good. I haven't okay. watched Chinese cartoons in a while. I, I was watching this Korean propaganda um, yesterday about Donald about him like nuking America. It was funny, and I just thought I'd bring that up. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Next segment. Let's let's get off this train. Wreck. So when you look up when you look up how to touch yourself and then in parentheses most pleasure, we find your video. Yes. And then we find <laughs> how many and, then, that? and then we uh it's at thirty seven thousand five hundred and fifty. <laughs> I'm going to uh Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Thirty one thirty one likes, eighty seven dislikes. Uh-huh. The, <laughs> the 
a, a guy whose username is your Jesus, only the light of God can bring eternal happiness. Crusaderprayergroup.org commented dot 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 dot. Sounds about right. Is that Why was it? he looking at that video if he's Christian? Yes. Uh, he's probably trying. To, he's question, probably looking around, trying to save people. Don't question your Jesus. Only the light of God can bring eternal happiness. Crusader. <laughs> well, 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 okay, Nick. He. It's. It's not that he wouldn't be looking at that video if he was Christian. He wouldn't be looking at the video if he was Catholic. Because then some crazy woman would slap him with a fish. How to touch boys or Mormon? Maximum <laughs> pleasure. Uh, Ireland is still one of the most Catholic countries in the world, and it kind of disturbs oh me God. seeing the amount of shit. Not being that. a Lutheran in the current year, what's wrong with you, Goy? So next segment, um, uh, uh, what we've been doing... Oh yeah, here, this is it. Uh, here, there's my script, by the way, everyone look at it. Uh, what, uh, Michael, we need to ask you something very important that's obligatory on the Vidina Bide channel. What okay. your, what, what's your thoughts on the whole uh, Jack, Jack come to PS4 situation? It's it, it couldn't be anything less than a good thing. Like exactly. I'm glad more people are going to get a chance to play these amazing games. I mm. only wish it was released physically. Mm. I, I, w- I wish I was at home while I was while we were recording this because I would have been able to show my point. Like back at home, I got the PS4 re- remake of Odin Sphere, the PS4 remaster of Bioshock and the PS4 remaster of all the Kingdom Hearts games, which are literally three out of my top five favorite game franchises. And if Jack and Daxter being my number one was released physically on PS4, that would practically give me no reason to play my PS2. Mm. Yeah. So does anybody remember the episode uh, that we did a few days after they announced it? How many views the uh, the YouTube video had for uh, the announcement trailer? Mm. Wasn't like two hundred and fifty, or was it one hundred and fifty thousand? Uh, it was. You know, it was right. Ar- it was right around the. Um, it was around the amount that the um, PS3 HD collection had. Um, Hang on, I'm. 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 I want to look that up. I want to see how many views it has. It has three hundred thousand right now. Um. And look at Michael at school with all these tools at his disposal. <laughs> okay. Uh. Michael, you okay, need to the, go the home, one, but my computer's dead. The the place the one off PlayStation has uh, three hundred thousand six hundred and ten views, ten thousand yep. likes, three hundred dislikes from uh, I don't know three hundred dislikes. Fuck those those three hundred people can go fuck right <laughs> off. No, no, no. You want to know? You you want to know what those three hundred people are? Those three hundred people are Banjo Kazooie fan, like overly obsessed fanboys that are like the gameplay of the first one is too much like Banjo Kazooie. It's a it's a ripoff. God help the GTA fans. <laughs> oh, no, no, that that makes no sense. Okay, I uh, this was in my uh, Jack Four video. What could be Jack Four video? I mentioned that some people don't like the gameplay of the first one because it's too much like Banjo and Kazooie. And I had a picture the with the censored out eyeballs of the Game Grumps next to me because that was something they said in one of their Let's Plays. It's like it's too much like Banjo and Kazooie, except it's got boring level design. Oh. And, oh. Oh. and then all, like out of no, and, and then out of nowhere, because I was thinking, well, okay, they are older gamers than I am, so maybe they have they have some like connection to Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, maybe, maybe they liked the other ones because they changed up the formula while still keeping some of the elements. And then he. As soon as I thought that, he immediately said, "Yeah, and the second game's fucking worse because it's 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 nowhere near what the first game even tried to do." I'm like, that, yeah, that make oh. up your freaking minds, people. Mm. Um, I had played Banjo Kazooie at daycare, at OSK. It was called Ocean State Kids. And I'm right now. I it's been a very long time since I've played it. Is it really that similar to Jack and Daxter? Is it really? It platforming collectathon with a lot of humor, exactly. except in this case, it's British humor. It it's a it's British <sighs> humor. Pick one. It's a platformer. <laughs> it's a pl- it's 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 a genre. It's a platformer yeah. collectathon. It's a it's not. God, a, why are all these why are all these games like Mario sixty four? Yeah, oh, don't they know Mario sixty four already it, did this? It oh. annoys me like when people say, "Oh, this is too much like GTA," as if GTA made the fucking sandbox genre. They didn't. 
God, right. why are all these shooters like Doom? Don't don't they know exactly. that Doom already made shooters? Yeah. Oh no no no! I wish all the shooters. What are you were talking like about? Doom. Wolfenstein <laughs> made fucking shooters. Oh yeah, you're right. Friend. Wolfenstein did. Wolfenstein. Uh, Wolfenstein. I, 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 hey, I wish all the FPSs Doom, were like those games. Doom gets that all means... the damn credit. That that's kind of annoying that, that's to me. Doom was the one that the, the Doom was the because one because it's Doom though. because it has that fucking logo. It's Doom. Boom. When you like Wolfenstein, it's like oh, what's that obscure piece of shit? When it was that well, Wolfenstein, original... Wolfenstein New Order got some pretty got the franchise kind of like back in the limelight, Finally. but I don't think they're doing I, anything with it. I got some I got some Wolfenstein PS2 games and they're all like they're all like run of the mill generic like uh like PS2 shooters and to and PS2 <laughs> shooter sure as in those games are not better very than any of uh, FPS that we have nowadays. I can guarantee you that. Granted, I, I don't, don't know. think I've seen another game where you can shoot Hitler with a minigun. Well, that not the mini gun, but like every sniper elite game, you can you can you know shoot him in his testicle. Nick, <laughs> can I ask you a very important question? But why What's do you keep who? doing this? Nick is a ve- Nick's Italian, <laughs> Keith. Why 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 are you trying to try but to? Nah, yeah, well, I'm not Italian. I I I'm, I woke up in covered in spugatti and uh, you know <laughs> I definitely to be, and, you know I'm the, the Guido I, I came from the uh, 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 the, the, the fucking now you, now you go in French fam come on you go- hey, it's your You're fault it's your poisonous me. fucking personality that keeps you, rubbing off of me and you know that I have Irish, that fucking mental disorder you Irish, Irish bastard you're, you're disrespecting me you're disrespecting us oh do you got that Italian in you oh, my heart. yep Northern Italian or Southern oh, Italian? Ah, oh. uh, crap! I don't even know. Like, like Naples and Sicily and and Sicilian or like like North or like Northern Italian. Finland. I'll be honest. I have not actually looked into my family heritage. All I know is that I'm mostly Italian and Dutch. Ah, oh, ooh, Dutch. My, that that's some, that's my, some good my, genes. Right there. So you like people, people shitting invent- on your chest? <laughs> no, my people invented pizza, cheeseburgers, and body pillows. Body pillows? Like the ones with the anime girls on? Uh, <laughs> sort of, actually. Uh, they're called du- The original body pillows were called Dutch wives for sailors to cuddle with on long trips. And then when they did trading routes with Japan, Japan is like, hey, that's a cool idea. <laughs> Japan took oh, one step further. And, then, and now we have, uh, what are they called? Uh, real girl blow dolls or whatever? Blow up dolls? No, 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 no not even blow up dolls, bro. Like you get ones that look like you can get ones that look actually that in in the coming years by like 2020 ten thousand dollars programmable woman Dude. uh that's gonna that's gonna make my buddy evan really sad because he went to a tech college to try and design a bot a programmable body pillow with one of those flexible screens so that you oh. can program in different characters well they're not they're not quite th- they're not not mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's still that, but like, Fuck are we that those about? real dolls that's just like programmable. Like, bro, can, 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 can I, can I make her like programmable to like make me food? Like, I won't even, I won't even <laughs> fuck the thing, right? I won't even fuck the thing. I'll just have it do housework. You, you will have to give into the temptation eventually, don't like, And then this is, you have to give then, it a reward. Yeah. And then that, and then that is when Skynet happens. Mm, and then that's, <laughs> they, I'll just they, walk around. And I'll just walk around covered in magnets. What they they take us over through our through through our penises, huh? Yeah. Th- it would be the <laughs> most logical way to conquer someone. What, what they do is they corrupt your penis and your penis becomes its own entity and like it detaches itself from you and then shoves itself down your throat like an alien, then it bursts out, and then you're corrupted. <laughs> I was gonna s- I was gonna say that the sex would be so good that you, we have to obey them. It's like obey the sex <laughs> robot over oh, in, in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, there's a uh, there's a brothel, and right next to it is a brothel that was opened up that just has like like there's a like brothel next sex to a brothel robots. Next to a brothel. Wait, next wait, to a brothel. wait, 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 wait! It just has sex robots, right? And the 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 brothel workers in the in the in the human one, we're we're asking like the we're we're trying to petition to get the 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 robot one shut down because people were going to the robot one instead of the fucking real girl, the actual human one. <laughs> you see, she doesn't judge me about my penis size. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going over here to the fucking robot one. <laughs> but honestly, though, like like places like Japan and like Europe are already having like a population hey, decline. Hey. Like this is just gonna. 
You're not part of Europe. You're Ireland. I know. I, I, know. I want to get offended by so part of Europe. <laughs> Ireland is not I, part of Europe, stuff. stuff. I ju- I just re- yes, so. it is. I just realized no, Futurama predicted the future, uh, ironically. The, there was that episode where Fry has like a programmable Lucy Lou robot. Oh yeah. And then like he sees the uh, the the PSA video about Billy and the sex robot, and the entire human race went extinct. I, I, I have a I have a green god. text for you guys. Uh, I swear to God that Mac Ronan is is psychic. All right, Keith. I want you. I think he's got, he's got the before. third eye. Yeah. You want your cylinder? I think I've sent this to you before, but it is very topical right now. I I, I believe you. Hold, hold on. There you go. Amelia, uh, 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 you've been through such pain. Oh yeah, you sent me this. Yeah, you, you sent me this. It, it, mm-hmm, do you mm-hmm. want me to read it? I mean, I mean, we 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 could. You could you could read it in your beautiful Irish accent. Okay, let let me get this. Let me open this up for for the viewers at home, and let's zoom in a bit. Why don't we so, have Jack? Why don't we have Jack read it in his beautiful French uh, accent? Uh, this is a four chan, oh. uh, a four chan Yokuma Bobby, and uh, anonymous oh. uh, posts a picture of this. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, a picture of this. Um, okay, do you need me to do this? Please do, because I do not understand 4chan at all, and this is, like, giving me cancer just looking at the layout. Of it. <laughs> all right. So, Anon posted a uh, sex dolls thread. Mm-hmm. Considering buying pick-related, that's, uh, that's, that's the small picture on the top left. $160 shipped. Silicone. Uh, that's uh, probably actually TPE. 20 pounds. Full size. Metal skeleton, so it's not floppy. Should I go full robot and get it? Full robot, meaning, of course, that you're, like, you know, really lonely and that, like, you don't actually, like, talk to anybody and stuff like that. And so, uh, uh, some Anon goes, uh, bump, surely somebody has done this. Uh, another person goes, pathetic, absolutely pathetic. What would your father uh, say if he found out? And then a, a brave Anon posted uh, <laughs> a reply to him. <laughs> Are you okay, Keith? No, I think I'm dying. <laughs> I think I'm drunk to that more. Ah, so so a, a brave fire. Anon replied, <laughs> should I go full Sorry. robot and get it? I was like you once. But then I took an arrow to the... Ne- no, I'm kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Be me nine years ago. My hand wasn't enough anymore. I buy my first pussy sleeve, $8. End up investing in $22 pussy sleeve. End up buying a safe to hide my multiple $20 to $30 pussy sleeves. Next, I get an $80 flashlight. Next, buy a bigger safe for my now multiple $80 to $100 flashlights. Next, buy a 250 20-pound ass with a pussy and asshole to fuck. A few years went by, You've just and I was pretty speaker, cool Michael. with it. What? You've just a loudspeaker, yeah? Like, going around. No, he's got, he's got headphones on. <laughs> headphones are connected to an amp. Hey, 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 Michael. Michael. Is what? that is that guy still sitting there? No. <laughs> yeah, man, he I left. Was, I was, uh, was going to say, I'm so, like, sorry, Ke- like, sorry, like, Keith. Like, sorry, Keith. He won't take uh, off his shirt in front of you. It's fine. Anyway, I'll get him later. A few years went by, and I was cool with where I was, fapping wise. Until I ran into a torso and a head for three fifty, vagina, anal, and now oral orifices. Buy it, fuck it nonstop. Gonna keep doing this as long as he's reading it. <laughs> Falls apart after a while. Buy two more of them. Fuck them both nonstop. They fall apart. Find a website selling full size dolls for around two k each. Buy one. Wreck or er, wreck the fuck out of it after four months of nonstop. Fucking, literally, all my free time involved my dick in this doll. All of it. I can see Keith editing this up. Buy a new one for 2.1k. Back to my nonstop fucking. Lie to friends, family, work, etc. Just so I can stay home and fuck my doll all day. Goes on for about a year. Be me now. Please Parents stop had- reading this so I can stop hitting myself. <laughs> it's only like 10 more lines. <laughs> Par- Parents move in with me. I had to put my doll in storage because my mom is fucking nosy. Haven't had doll pussy <laughs> since, the day, <laughs> since the day after pick related was taken. 
can't even be attracted to regular females. All I can think about is getting her back and fucking her brains out. Go to storage room once or twice a day and fuck her. Have to use a condom and lube so I don't have to clean her. Get a little too excited one visit and stick my dick in her mouth raw. End up nutting. Now I can't kiss her or fuck her face because I can't clean her mouth. The cum has been festering in her mouth for about a month now. The same lube has been in her pussy and asshole for two months. End up spending Stop. most of my storage Stop. unit. Stop. <laughs> Boys are suspicious. Sitting at home right now typing this, wondering if I should or shouldn't go back and fuck my rotting queen. Don't be me. Save yourselves and just stick with sleeves and porn. Are you going to show pick related, Keith? I will. I will. I will. I will do something with that. Um, definitely. Um, you know what? You should. You should take all of our cameras off the screen and just have Jack's voice doing it and make it really, really scary, like with serial killer <laughs> documentary music over it. <laughs> Well, we, 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 uh, it, yeah. Or you uh, could just take my audio throughout this episode and make it sound like I'm trying to fuck Nick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we, we have a we have a good topic here. Let's get let's get to something a bit more uh, fucking Nick. Uh, that's later on. That's after the podcast ends. But, oh, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Keith. So what, what's the next? What's this the next is the topic Nick, 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 Nick came up with because Nick always seems to come up with the topics. Uh, weirdest person you've ever met online, and I'm going to add otherwise. As All well. eyes on me. All yeah. eyes on me. Nope, All not you. Tell <laughs> a story, Nick. Tell us a story. Um, I want to save mine for last because I guarantee okay. you that mine's the most fucked up. Uh, as usual. All right. Um, who who wants to start? I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a top three before I go for a one. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'm one? trying to think. Of, I'm uh, trying to think of uh, one too. Uh, mine will probably be the most boring, so I think I'll go. Uh, weirdest person yeah. I ever <laughs> met was uh, this this homeless guy. So uh, I went down to Dublin, which is a place in Ireland. Um, you met this guy online? Yeah. No, I didn't. Uh, sh- no, that's, about- why, that's why I said or otherwise. What was my- he? What was he like plugging into one of those fucking <laughs> USB jacks? <laughs> he, was at, he was at McDonald's or like free Wi-Fi. But, yeah. um, I-, I went down to Dublin uh, with a friend to a wrestling show, and we stayed at a hotel or whatever. Well, it was actually a hostel; it wasn't a hotel because we could afford a hotel. And um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, we were we we went out uh, to get something to eat. Uh, there's this homeless guy who comes up to me and he's like, "Get in, money, money, money!" And I'm like, "I don't go fuck off, mate." Right? And uh, wow, look at he, Keith not he, not giving money to homeless people. He, he's just gonna spend it on fucking met or something, right? So uh, I uh, I walk past and he's Did following he look like us the whole way. He How do you know what a meth head looks he like? Was bald. Have you ever he, been he, a meth head? He was bald, his teeth were all fucking degraded, and his eyes were out. Like, well, obviously yeah, he, he, he was just British. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, so we were walking down and he was following us the whole time. And we went in to get something to eat, and I think it was McDonald's or something, some some shit place like that. And That's he follows. Irish, right? he, he comes in with us, right? And he goes, "Just buy me a Big Mac. You buy me a Big Mac. Will you buy me a Big Mac?" And I was like, "Fuck it, this dude has. I'll give cut him some slack." So I bought my Big Mac, right? He brings <laughs> the tray and sits beside us, right? And we're there eating. Uh, I'm trying to talk to Clingy friend. much? <laughs> and he's there trying to talk to us. Like, he can't like, make a sentence. He's like, I've, I've, and he's there spitting all over our fucking food while he's trying to talk. And I was just there nodding and nodding and nodding, just hoping to get through the fucking rest of it. <laughs> so so uh, we were done. We walked out. Uh, and we were on our way back to the hostel, I think. Or maybe, I think we were on our way back to the hostel. And he was still following us. So at this point, I started getting a bit worried. So... I, uh, I, I, I tried to lose him. I tried blending him to the crowd and whatever and tried to fucking shake his Your tail. Your Assassin's Creed shit yeah, going? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I learned this from video games. And then I realized I lost my fucking friend. So my <laughs> friend... <laughs> so, so my friend was stuck here, probably still with this met head. And I, and I look back and he's nowhere to be fucking <laughs> Who seen. Who was this? Who was your friend? Uh, was, it was it Adam? No, it was Alex. You don't know him. Oh, but, um, I was gonna say if it was Adam. I could like I couldn't <laughs> imagine him surviving out there like that. But but uh, and this is Dublin. Dublin is not an easy place to fucking walk around, right? Uh, so I look back and he's fucking nowhere to be seen. I look everywhere. I go back to the fucking McDonald's to see if he's still there. He wasn't there. So so uh, I'm walking back and I'm right at this point, trying to call him or whatever, and he won't answer his fucking phone. 
<laughs> and then I look across the road. This is like a this is a main road, and I look across it, and he's there <laughs> with the meth head fucking hanging on to his arm while he's trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I'm just there I, on the other side of the road, and I'm I don't know what to do. So, so thankfully, some other guy came up, and he's like he got him away from. Him, then he came back through the road, uh, across the road, and we went to a wrestling show. And we never saw him again, but it had a happy ending. But it could have been much worse. Oh. Okay, okay, I got two. I got two stories now. One that only I, that I only thought of because you mentioned a homeless person in Dublin, and like this wasn't something that I personally experienced, but it was something my best friend Jack uh, went through. He was. Um, he was studying abroad in England, and then during the, uh, was he studying the semester, like another country, or is he studying a woman? What, what do you mean by studying abroad? <laughs> studying right. overseas, and so he uh, then he him and some friends go on uh, a vacation during the uh, during the semester to Ireland, and they're just mm-hmm. walking around. And at this point, Jack has this massive fucking beard, like about this long, like bigger than what I got going. Um, and so he's walking around, uh, downtown and some, uh, homeless person says, excuse me, sir, would you mind donating to a charity? It, it, would you spare a euro? It's for the buy me a Guinness charity. And he's like, you know what, dude, I like your moxie. Here's two. <laughs> and then the guy just straight up asks him, thank you. Sir. Thank you for your kindness, sir. But if you don't mind me asking, what's with the Muslim beard? <laughs> and this was last year, and this was like I think two years ago or something. It was during the time when it was kind of risque to so much as look that way because of some crazy some crazy <laughs> shit that was going on. And it was at that point that Jack realized fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds like Dublin. But uh, not in the hall. But then people. but then uh, my personal like weird story, this was like years ago. I was in Hawaii, and I was walking like down this walkway to um, this little shopping town called Whalers Village, and all of a sudden I saw this um, midget, and I swear to God he was like just above two feet tall or something. He was tiny, but he looked like he was, but his, like his face made him look like he was in his forties, and the dude was ripped, like he had. Like, like, you know that promotional picture for Chris Redfield in RE5 where it looks like he's got fruit stuffed yeah, yeah. in his arms? This yeah. guy looked like that. Like, <laughs> and I'm just walking. I see this incredibly short person. I can't take my eyes off him because, like, what the <laughs> fuck? Out he's like, when he else a roided out again. midget. And he's just looking at, and he's just looking at me like, hey, you want to fight? You want to fight? And he's got the high-pitched voice like, you want to fight? Who's you fight? you? <laughs> 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 Curtis, Curtis, say hi to the podcast. Hello, hello, <coughs> hello, <coughs> Harry Arm, titty. The dude. Show the titty. <laughs> they want you to show titty. titty? Are you I mean, I will. Oh god. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so excited about this, Nick? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it! Nick, Nick. <laughs> no, sorry, Nick. <laughs> sorry, Nick. You're not gonna see. T- you're not gonna see man boob. Jesus. <laughs> you're not gonna see man boob, Nick. Why don't you just go look in a mirror? I should have. I should have like flashed him instead. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he would have just so just so Keith could have like gone through and like censored it, and then people would have been like, huh. <laughs> But no, basically, yeah, just a roided out midget, tr- a, a roided out midget trying to square up with me. And like it got, he, the guy was so freaky and he was also with some friends like a not not roided out, but like still pretty buff. Were they a all black pretty- guy and a Mexican guy and a white guy? Well, are they all midgets? It's like, no, no, no. They're okay. regular size. <laughs> All of them that look like they're in their they're in their forties, and they all look like they spend too much time working out. And I'm like, uh, no. And I like walk for about two minutes that way, just so I can keep walking forward without running into this guy. <laughs> I hope that ended happily. Like, although you are here today, yeah. so I guess it did. 
but yeah, it it, it, end, it ended fine. I didn't see mm. him any. I didn't see him for the rest of that vacation, and I got my ice cream at Whaler's Village anyway. Nice. <laughs> I just want to get ice cream. I want to square up with you. I just wanted to get ice. Cream. I just wanted to get ice cream, man. And this one. Why do you want to fight a midget? Trying to attack me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight a roided up midget, TBA. <laughs> oh. That'd be that'd be hell on the balls. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Although god, I did I just... see like these people like like this one fight between this one midget where this guy was fighting him and shit, and he ended up like picking him up by the waist and shit, and he was like doing like this number, like, <laughs> like the fucking like yeah. midget arm. It's shit interesting, the legs. Though, midget wrestling was actually a big thing in double boy from the mid nineties. <laughs> Just a random fact. Why were they all like the Lucky Charms guy, yeah, like, like wrestling? The is, they, they were really athletic. Like they were really um, like, they could bounce around. Like they were like cruiserweights before the cruiserweights were prominent. It was really interesting. But, yeah. <laughs> when they when they were trying to move, they probably looked like they were jumping in a potato sack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? no, 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 no. You, you, you know what those you know what those would be called instead of Mexican jumping beads? It's Irish jumping potatoes oh. wrestling each other. Irish jumping potatoes. Rawr, pink, pink. Spots, the jumping spuds. I know exactly. You, 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 jumping you, spuds. Yeah, we can make that. <laughs> now let's see which one should I do. Um, well, there was the one time. Uh, I met this. I was. I was. Uh, I was maybe like fourteen, and I was like, uh, I was playing Call of Duty because that's what all fourteen-year-olds do. <laughs> and um, uh, Doritos and Mountain Dew. Doritos and Dr Pepper. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, exactly, bro. But uh, <laughs> this is where the real shit is. Oh, but um, this this dude, I we I was like talking shit to him because that's what fourteen year olds do, um, oh. and and he was like uh, he was like. You know what? I'll get my buddy in here and he'll hack you. And I was like, "Oh, th- this should be fun." And I'm like, "Fucking do it, fam. You won't." And um, he got this dude in, and we were like in a private message or in a in a private lobby. And then um, my fucking internet went out. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, okay, Keith, when you're in editing on this, insert the Twilight Zone music while he's saying that. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, uh, I, I, like, I, I, like, tried restarting the router and everything. I was like, oh, shit. And, uh, I, I, it comes back on after, like, ten minutes. And then I get a message from the guy. And he's like, uh, hey, message me when you're back on. And then, uh, and then, like, the first thing he says, like, in it, like, he was, I was like, okay, I, I fucking, I believe you. And he's like, yeah, y- you want to be friends? Like, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, say anything but yes to that after what happened. I, I did. I did say yes. I, in fact, I did. And then he talked to me about how uh, there's nothing to do in Iowa except uh, learn how computers work. Apparently, <laughs> uh, oh or form bands like. Slip wait mind. a minute. I mean, wait a minute. Is um, I Iowa? Is this? What's this guy's name? I I, can't, I don't remember his name. I can tell you his PS3 ID. <laughs> no. Okay. Because um, no. I, I ask this because a friend of mine that goes to this school, she had a long distance uh, boyfriend in Iowa, and they just broke up over some dumb shit on, on his behalf. So I'm thinking, mm-hmm. if this is the same guy. Nah, he would have hacked her. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, you brought up Call of Duty. So I got an, I, sorry, I got another story. This, ha- this time it happened to my brother. He was playing Call uh, Modern Warfare 2 with some friends in a public lobby. And because, oh, I don't know, they actually played the single player and learned the ins and outs of gameplay, they understood what to do in multiplayer matches and were owning almost everybody. <laughs> they were playing against a squeaker. Oh, yeah. And it, and it was a public lobby, I so they could hear him. And he kept saying, "You guys are cheating! You 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 hacked your systems! You you you're, 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 you 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 why are you why are you always beating me? I'm gonna tell my mom." When I was kid, uh, I used to watch literal. videos on like nade spots and stuff like that when I was younger, so I I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but so the kid literally gets his mom on the headset, and rather than saying, "Look, I'm sorry, my kid is being a." a little brat about this it's just a game if you if you don't mind either 
uh, either we'll leave the lobby or if you guys could join another game so that we don't have to go through all this. No, she takes her son's side. She what a patient. Hey, Gary, you hack against my son. He's number one Call of Duty player in the Southwest. I guarantee this mother <laughs> was some sort of millennial parent. Like, she could not have been older than, like, 20-something. Had her kid when she was 16 or some shit. Oh. Because she was taking his side on this rather than realize that her kid is being a brat and playing a game he probably shouldn't in the first place. How old was this kid? I think like eleven. I mean, I waited till I was twelve to play Call of Duty. Come on, guys. I am. Um, I mean, I, that, I'm not that's a why better, I said, but I played good games. Yeah, that's that, that's why. I said, if I ever if I ever become a parent, I'm getting my kid a Game Boy before a home console or even a smartphone. I'm I'm making my kid play the Jack and Daxter games as his first series. <laughs> good parent. That's his exactly name, what I'm doing. Yeah, but yeah. I have kids, so you know. Wait, what do you what do you guys think about uh, potent like if you have if you ever have kids one day, I when are you gonna kids, give them? So. <laughs> when are you giving them phones? When are you giving them? I don't give them a phone ever if I ever have one. Fuck that. Yeah, so, I, I no, hate I, smartphones. Okay. I'm sorry, I, w- I hate them. I cannot stand them. I think they are destroying people. You cannot go anywhere now without seeing anyone like with your head down like that. You can't go out and fucking eat with someone. They're like, mm, like no, you dude, fucking stop I'll- checking your Facebook for two seconds. You piece of shit. Sorry. Oh, dude, you have no idea. I work as a busser at a pizza place, and I cannot go a single shift without seeing some family with a little kid, either five years old, slightly older, or slightly younger, doing this. Yeah. And I'm just looking at that like one of these days that parent is going to look at their credit card bills and realize their kid's been buying tons of in-app purchases. Mm. Well, that's why you don't link your fucking credit card with it. No, certain smart devices nowadays save your credit card info to the app Ooh. store. And I'm just looking at them like, yeah, they're going to look at their credit card bills and scream, and it's their fault. Yep. So, uh, did Jack, did you say you one? Yeah, you did. Do you have any other one? or? Uh, I do. Uh, well, I did. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, so much weird shit. Um... Well, nothing that I've heard so far tops the one that I'm about to tell you. Well, so I mean, there's that time ahead. I met Nick. Um, oh, that, that, no. That, oh, yeah. Off. There was also this time that some random person commented on my YouTube video and then suddenly started spam messaging me on my Twitter, wanting me to join some sort of community channel. I, it was Very weird. They, they, okay. They do, <laughs> if, if we're going to talk about YouTube comments... When I was about I was, to say, I was like, wait, I did that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't spam you, though. Did I really spam you? No, I was just, it was a joke. When, oh. when I was like, when I was like 13, I had like, a, I had a YouTube channel um, that I don't, that I don't have anymore. 13, was it? Or you, what? I keep forgetting how you were. <laughs> hey, it was, it was like, you know, in you know, 2012, um, but I had a I had a YouTube channel, and uh, when I was when I was like that young little pupper, I um, I really liked like Nerf War videos. So I was like I uh, like me and a, a few of my buddies like we we made one. It's deleted now because um because who wants to have I, I ain't that going up to find those videos? It's the last <laughs> but so, I somebody somebody commented like there was there was like a little like hand to hand combat so cool section, and like this like dude commented like hey i really loved like the the hand-to-hand combat like that that was a really good scene and then like i looked on his channel and it was like a mix between like uh it was a mix between like wrestling videos that he had liked and like those like channels that are just dedicated to like like candid pictures of women and i was like huh huh <laughs> Nick, you look like you're about to throw up. <laughs> did you see? Did you hear that? <laughs> what just happened, dude? Someone in my house just screamed Allahu Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like, Nick, like, run! Allahu <laughs> 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 like, Akbar. Yeah, that's like you guys, all I heard was just Allahu Akbar. Do you guys know what Amory TV is? Yes, I actually have it on my Skybox. Oh, oh! Do you ever watch it? No. 
It's quite disturbing. Well, oh, well, the uh, so basically, it's like uh, it, it was it was started by like uh, a, an American nonprofit organization that translates uh, like TV from Islamic countries, and so you'll see things like uh, like people will take clips from it, and like there there's Did one where there's this like story, Jack. <laughs> what? Wow, Nick, are you you gonna you gonna get off my dick? Oh, I'm gonna get right on your dick and start sucking you fucking faggot right here, fam. <laughs> huh? Right? You want to dock? Huh? Yeah, I want to dock. Kids. I want to dock oh, all of kids. Well, as long as it's hey, as long as it's on camera, we can make some money off of this. Right. Right. Mm. But the thing is, you know your what? Cameras are not situated, and the lighting is all off. It's just not complimentary at all. I, I've only I've only been eighteen for for like two months, so we can uh, we can we can like we can work that into the video. Like barely it, eighteen. It, it's okay. I'm Irish. The age of consent here is sixteen. You're fine. The age of consent here in Illinois is seventeen. So, uh, but you still you can't have porn of like seventeen year olds here. Why? I mean, I know that's good. He's <laughs> <laughs> like I do. I mean, huh? <laughs> I what? actually have. I actually love that picture of Ellie you sent me on. I am. What? An ass of us character, not a real person. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't even dare. <laughs> right, the last of us character. He, okay, he's YouTube. been like, he's been like hitting up his fucking like, you know those, you know those Minecraft YouTubers that used to like have like servers and they would they they just try to hit on like little kids. Oh he's, God. Keats like that with like Jack and Daxter. He's like, he's like, ooh, there. What franchise has a lot of a lot of uh, m underage females in? I'll I'll try the Jack and Daxter community. And really, this this well, has been well, his hey, plan all along. Well, hey, if there are a lot of young women in the Jack and Daxter community, then they have three points of reference to cosplay as for. Uh, <clears throat> it would really suck if they were, <laughs> if they have like small titties because they're they're fucked. Mm. Well, Ashlyn, Ashlyn, not Ashlyn. Uh, Kira is uh, okay. They might be all might be able to do Kira. Or fuck, I was gonna say Daxter. I was gonna I was gonna say they could possibly cosplay as Maya. Cosplay as uh, cosplay <laughs> as crew. I was <laughs> female crew. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> crew's wife. But, but, Actually, I'd drop <laughs> few pounds for this cosplay. I'm a lean, mean. <laughs> Is is it ba is it bad that I have a friend that could possibly cosplay as Crew? He's that big. Ooh. This those reminds legs me. Aren't, those legs aren't. Oh, we've come stick. full circle, Michael. We've come full circle. Think about it. Remember the first time we had you do your theory? We were talking about Odin banging someone being easier than Crew. Like yeah. <laughs> we've come full circle. Yeah. Oh, and sort of an update on that kind of thing, uh, with the whole crew breaking okay, can his I tell wife's my pelvis. Story now? Okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sure, Nick. Can I like do it, but okay, Nick, you can do a big thing. God, I don't know what just happened there. Why are you talking like this? Because I got the sound of my new microphone and okay. I wanted to see its full capabilities. So I'm just you know, I'm gonna change all the names. I'm gonna change all the names. I could put this in stereo mode and make it actually sound like it's in your left ear. <laughs> All right, Nick, Oops. just go ahead. Nick, go just ahead. come on, come on for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, like I said, uh, all this week I'm playing GTA and I met someone new. All right now, I'm gonna change a few details about this to keep the identity safe. Okay, so this person is a transgender. All of a sudden, I get, I will suck your romance of cock. Tafkar, fuck off! This is the second time in a row! Three days later, he woke up hanging from his ceiling with a butt plug in his ass. So that's the person I met this week. Well, th that's lighthearted. Thanks for that. <laughs> that, that that's bring the well, podcast down well, or anything. I just wanted to make sure I could bring uh, you the top notch quality. I know uh, I just completely... You know, the thing is, I'm going to put a silver line on this. A lot of that sounds like complete bullshit from that person who ever told you that, so... Yeah. It does. It does. Trust me, when um, I was in the shower, I was thinking, like... It has to be bullshit. You can't dig 15 feet in fucking clay. Like, it's just, like, you know... That I think no, no, no offense, but I'll take shit that never happened for 500. Mm. Oh. But, uh, okay! But that whole scene. Um... 
Well, Side note, if Michael just put the camera down just a, a skosh or two more, he'd be in the perfect <laughs> masturbatory pose. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I like to call I like to call that position the cam four position. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so now that we're no longer talking uh, morbid craziness, um, E three is right around the corner. Mm. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, less than a month away at this point. What is it? The twelfth of June is when all the conferences is on. I uh, think so. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also the pre shows. Hmm. What What are the the pre-shows like the um that when they just they, like, they do like little teases they just they just give you the uh, uh the little okay. nip they'll, like, they'll, they'll do like little teaser trailers they'll do some uh promotional art and the showroom floor with a lot of demo stuff is usually open oh okay um so what what are you guys uh hoping to see at uh, e3 jack four <laughs> <laughs> somebody had to no. say it somebody had to say it I actually uh, have a feeling I have a feeling that something unexpected and uh like I have a feeling that something unexpected yet something that we forgot about that's going to be something really interesting is going to drop this year at E3. I don't know what it is, but I have this feeling that something really good is going to drop. And I don't know what I wanna it is. See, I want to see more Last of Us 2 and I want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh I don't think uh, any more Last of Us two for a while, but uh, I know. Well, well, I, I, well I agree. Well, I, I agree with uh, Jack. Last of Us two, but then uh, the rest for me would be Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade oh, yeah. two, Xenoblade two, and because Did you say it seems Xenoblade to... two, I no, I heard Blade, you say Blade, <laughs> Xenoblade two, Electric <laughs> Bugalo, <laughs> Xenoblade. But uh, so Xen- so Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade two, and um. Considering it would match their once every two years model that's been going on since 2013, I want to see another Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, or at least some uh, progression news. What I really want to see is Uncharted Racing. Where the fuck is Uncharted Racing? Uncarted. 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 (laughs) Uncarted Racing, yeah. See how many players you can uncart in Uncarted Combat Uh, Racing. uh, <laughs> it's not physical. It's not physical. See, There's no, 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 no game. No, no. Grab okay, I, I don't have okay, a I, I, I PS2 was for. Jesus PS2 had okay. fine. It was, was absolutely fine. What no, is, no, you want to know why? No. You want to know why? What is wrong I, with you? Nick, what is calm wrong down. with you? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, no. You want to know what I think the problem? You want to know what I think the problem is with these people complaining about uh, wanting more than what they're being given? These are the mm-hmm. type of people that <laughs> never re- – that um, whenever a new system comes out, they sell everything they had before. So these people don't have Jack and Dexter anymore on PS2. They have everything, they have everything from now. Yeah. I'm really sp- – I love Jack and Dexter, but I'm going to sell my PS2 <gasps> – and all my Jack games, in the hopes that this really, really obscure series will be put onto my system because I fucking want it to. You f- fuck off. You know, See, I've I've never, I never, I never get, off. I never get rid of a, I never get rid of a system. Nope. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm really surprised that Nick hasn't gone like fucking normies get out right. Obsessed. But um, that's that. I'm that, 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 Keith's moved on. Wait, but still, but still, we're sitting here. We're sitting here a fucking like almost a year later talking about this stupid shit again. And it keeps getting he's like and, and it keeps getting bigger because that's why Jesus Christ is my you know. <laughs> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> it's just like just, just stop. Just, 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 my crew is big and it keeps Bigger <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, Jack Four is not going to be at E3 this year, but no, we got a bunch not. of other shit. You know what is? Gonna, but you know what is going to be? Shit. I think I think Nick I think just Nick died. Died. I think Nick can. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Your screen just blacked out for a minute, and I was thinking, like, I think Nick just imploded. 
Yeah, because the Jack Fair days, it doesn't make any okay, sense. Okay, we get it. Okay, we get it. Right, calm, calm. Take your Valium. Calm <laughs> down. There's cyanide right. there. Take it. Think of all the There's other cool shit that side. we're going to be seeing, though. Think, think, think the uh, Last of Us 2. Think Mario Odyssey. Think of all mm. the... Uh, 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 I don't give a shit about the last. Oh, the the, cra- the, cra- the crash. Tr- I don't really crash trilogy. Hey, yep. hey, hey, Nick, Nick, I got a, I got a, I got a towel. Does it smell like uh, roofies? Or not? <laughs> what? Cloth. What the fuck did you say? Smell like, like roofies for? No, smell no, no. Like, it's um, it's. Hey, does this smell like chloroform to you? Yeah, yeah, chloroform. The bad thing about chloroform yeah. though is you actually have to make somebody like smell it for like ten minutes before they actually pass out. So, mm. you might as well just um, strangle them to death. One time I was in I was in Spanish class and uh, the the there was a sub and these two dudes like behind me were talking about chloroform and I I'd never talked to these two guys before so I just turn around and I go hey don't you know that chloroform actually takes like ten minutes before the person actually passes out so that it really doesn't make any sense and then like one of the dudes looks at me and he's like how would you know and then I just turned around and it's <laughs> <laughs> you back to- I guarantee that. Face. I guarantee you turned into the Joker for like two seconds for, t- for these guys. Exactly. <laughs> there was this dude who actually came to school one day, like as like Heath Ledger's Joker, and it was uh, it's pretty spooky. And, and it was uh, Heath Ledger. It was really Heath Ledger. Mm, no, no. He's dead, <laughs> Heath Ledger isn't dead. Oh, oh, anyway. is he living in Cuba with Tupac? How did you know? Dude, dude, we all know that Adolf Hitler Keith. escaped to Argentina and is still alive to this day. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Keith, Michael, you sound Keith, you sound like the IT guy at my school. He is convinced Michael Jackson faked his own death and is now uh, the, is now his pen pal. Like, he gets phone calls. <laughs> did you not see the video of him getting out of the ambulance? Like, come on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, E3, uh, what were you saying, Michael? We want, do you want to finish this up? Uh, yeah, like, uh, again, my personal hopes for E3. Um, Last of Us 2, Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade 2, Kingdom Hearts 3. And uh, maybe something, and maybe a, and maybe a surprise. Hmm, speaking what, uh, of hopes, what about, uh, I would love a Spyro remaster, like the Crash remasters. Yes. Oh, um, uh, these are all dreams, by the way. Uh, I'd love um, new uh, ratchet re- game. Yeah, new ratchet game. Why not? Uh, although I'm like a bit busy with Spider-Man, not the ten thousand VR games we're making. Um, ah. I'd like uh, Evil Within two, please. Mm. Th- that'd be nice. Jack, what's yours? My 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 uh, my 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 wishes, my dreams, my hopes, my fucking anticipation. Yeah. Yes. No, I just want to. I just really want to know, like, when it'd be available tonight. Really. Oh, uh, for, for you, Keith, anytime. But. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but like I uh, like I said earlier, you know, um, I, I'm interested to see more Last of Us Two. Uh, uh, maybe some more uh, Red Dead Two. Maybe, um, you know, maybe. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, generic shooter number uh, four sixteen. Um, yes, can't wait. I I, I love um, that uh, that that uh, that Call of Duty World War Two. Oh, I, everybody's hyped about that, Be- guys. Best name ever, by the way. I know, I know. It's like, 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 what's it? What's it? What's the theme? Like, what what are we trying to portray here? Oh, Nick, please move, Mike, away. Uh. Call of Duty needs to be taken out back and shot. <laughs> they kind of, they've kind of done that. They've kind of, um, yeah, like their sales have literally yeah. been going yeah. down. Hello, mysterious person in the background that just blanked out. <laughs> okay, so so Jack died. Nick, how about you? Oh no, Jack's back. That's Jack is that, back. that's what you thought, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here, little pupper. Come here, come here, Leo. Let me show you. Let me let me show everybody you. Come here. No, not you, Zena. I can't pick you up. Uh, we have an Come announcement on. to make. Uh, on, Leo. The person you're about to see is going to be the new admin of Xenobite. I'm taking my leave of absence. And uh, what you're about Le- to Leo, see don't... now is going to be... It's go- Xenobite is going to be left in great hands. Hold on and, a sec. Uh, I think it's going to be left in... Um... God damn it, my joke's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You're okay. Okay, c- c- continue. Continue. So, uh, Xenobite, I'm taking a leave of absence from Xenobite indefinitely. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it in very good hands. I'm going to welcome you now, the new owner of Xenobite. <laughs> How is that thing? The Taco Bell dog? <laughs> Don't make fun of Leo. Leo's little, gonna be your boss, Nick. Little yappy bastard. I'm pretty sh- well. At least we know that uh, he's gonna moderate the comment section pretty well. It's like, to me. oh, someone said. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah. Oh wait, no, it's a dog. So it'd be like, hey, don't try to get away from me, Leo. We took your balls. We'll take your pride too. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? Mm. Depends well, on how much pride you have for your balls. I, I mean, I don't keep my pride in my balls. I keep it more in my uh, ears. So, like, mm. only a bit would spill out if they're cut off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, good popper. I'm mostly looking forward to Assassin's Creed, whatever that is. <sighs> no, whatever. Assassin's Creed needs a break. Uh, it's like they, the they Sonic franchise; one. it needs a one. break. It they needs a one. break. They need they a longer break. I know. <laughs> An- I, I agree. Game series number three five one is my favorite, guys. <laughs> so that's yeah, Madden. I mean, I'm looking forward to Assassin's Creed, whatever they come out, because I'm a massive fan of it, and I generally don't really dislike any of them, uh, except for Syndicate a little bit. I think Syndicate's a little bit boring, but uh, um, we got uh, what else am I looking forward to? Uh, Shadow of War's already been announced, so I'm just like, <sighs> my dream though, my dream as of right now, one game that I'm actually looking for that I would be looking forward to if it was ever a thing would be Metal Gear Rising Two. If that mm. ever was a thing, but it's probably even never- even if it was even if it was just made by Platinum Games, Konami would shut it down if they were yeah. like as soon as they started production, and then they wouldn't do shit with the name. They would make a pachinko machine out of oh, it. Oh no! Instead, they're making Metal Gear Survive. What happened to that? Uh, what happened to that? Where is that? Yeah, what did happen to that? It's still coming, but it's just it does. You know, control. it fo- it followed it followed Resident Evil. Um, umbrella corpse into hell where they both belong. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. But uh, yeah, I guess that's the E3 segment. Yeah, E3 coming up next month. Looking forward mm-hmm. to it. Hoping, uh, hoping that there will be many great Jack games announced. Jack games. I want booth babes of each Jack and Daxter girl, or I will Xenoverse not be three. satisfied. I forgot. Xenoverse three. Xenoverse okay. three could be a possibility. Oh mm. yes, Z- Xenoverse three, right, 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 Xena. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's wrap this. This podcast is going Zeno. off the rails. Uh, let's. Uh, okay, Nick. You How is that different you... from any normal? Oh, the yeah, joke. That's right. I got to do the joke. Nick, we have dad we have a new set. We have a of the week. A, except it's not the dad joke of the week this week. It's the mom joke of the week. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. So I have a legit reason to call Nick mommy now. Yes, you do. Yes, son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, so, Nick. Nick, I've been a bad boy. How many times oh. am I going to have to do the Careless Whisper joke? <laughs> All right. So I need everyone. Listen closely. Listen. Okay. Like, I literally need everyone to stand up. Whoever wants to do really? the joke. Who wants to be the guinea pig? I'll take the fall. Okay. I had to fall. To lose okay. it all. Shut up, Edge Lord. All right, Keith. Okay. Yo. We all were like once. this. Okay. You want me? You want me to what? Put your hands like this. Okay. Keith, I want you to put your hands like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now, uh, mommy, move <laughs> back two steps and say ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Now move forward and say ho ho ho. How many steps? Two. Ho ho ho. You just jerked off the jolly green giant. (laughs) (laughs) It's so bad. All around me are familiar (sighs) faces. 
Nick. <laughs> okay, to make up for that, I've got just a bad pun. Really stupid joke. One sec. Okay, done. <laughs> what right. the hell was that? What, Some of that wasn't what? your 3DS. That was that was uh, styrofoam, I think. Oh. All right. What? I'll you, do it with Leo back there. What college did Miyamoto go to? We you. We <laughs> 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 are familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you keep doing that, Jack, you're actually, actually going to start like cutting your face. Uh, uh I mean, this is it's, 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 it's razor sharp, but like I've 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 uh, I've fucked around with enough knives in my life to know when one's too close. Okay. Uh, I think it's time for the main event of the show. <laughs> it's time for the Buzzfeed quiz of the week. <laughs> oh God! There we I... go. So it's time. Yeah. To show everyone Get it. what we're doing. Oh, my oh God, shit! That's not what we're doing this week. Like um, okay, let, let's uh, let's let's go to Mrs. Buzzfeed here. All right then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, right. Well, what well, article seems to be jumping out? <laughs> <everyone>. Really? Exactly. <laughs> Hmm, which fast food has the most calories? That's not really a quiz. This quiz will determine if you're the mom of your friend group. Uh, I uh, can't even read any of these. We no, know if a... you're one of those people who can't find their name on a keychain. What the fuck? What's the best romantic comedy you found on Netflix? Uh, Deadpool. Yeah. True. <laughs> True. Uh, only a Brit can score 10 out of 12 on this food close-up challenge. Well, you are a Brit, technically. Can you pick the animated Disney movie with the lowest IMDb rating? God, God, what? give us a good quiz. Create a, wedding, create a wedding bouquet, and we'll tell you when you'll get married. Ooh. Stupid. <laughs> These six questions will reveal how well you'll do on the final exams this year. These are all awful. Good God, Buzzfeed, get your shit together. Which makeup brand has the most Instagram followers? Oh my God. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Come on, Buzzfeed. What's that uh, Japanese? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, the rape of Man King never happened. <laughs> Do you oh remember the names of all 10 of these dogs from Silverfang? <laughs> Where are the good quizzes? How many Leonardo DiCaprio movies have you actually seen? Oh my god. Design bachelorette party and we'll reveal if you'll get married. Alright, let's do that one. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Right. Okay, here we go. First, how many people are you inviting? Okay, so I'm going to invite five. I like it nice. Uh, so we have four here. We just need Andrew. We'll add Andrew in and we'll have a great bachelorette party. We'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I would say so. No, 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 no. You're you're inviting only one other person and a hundred strippers. Well, yeah, but they don't count because they're strippers and they have no soul. True. <laughs> you're talking so. about gingers, dude. Exactly. They're all ginger it, strippers. Ginger strippers. <laughs> hey. All right. So so I five. Was everyone agree. Ginger. Yeah, five. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pick a destination. Las Vegas, Austin, San Diego, or Miami. These are all so generic. I wouldn't go to any of them. They're all too hot. Um, True. Uh, I'd go to... Ak okay, I, know, I would how go about... To, I would go to Akihabara, the geek nexus of Tokyo. I would go to a maid cafe in Japan. Wait, what? Okay, well, aren't those... Not, those aren't the fucking <laughs> answers, so... Austin, pick... I'm gonna pick Austin. Uh, because if I had to so... one of those, I guess I'd go to Austin. Mm. Yeah. We'll just Austin, order. Texas. We'll just I'd get a to nice hotel. Room. We'll just get like a really nice uh, like uh, rent a building and just turn yeah. the. Yeah. And down the, another thing is Austin would be the cheapest. So, yeah, Austin it is. Be in Austin with a stripper named Austin. Uh, pick something to wear. Mm. All right. Um, I'm gonna go what for the, the first one. the bottom right one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hello. Uh, Excuse me. Huh? Oh. That is some that is some leftover Lady Gaga stuff. Uh. I, I'm going for the first one. I don't know about yous. 
No, go for the bottom right. That one looks the most weird. Okay, everyone agree? No, no, the, no, the one next to it. Oh, I don't know my left or right. Okay, let's. Uh, everyone agree with Michael? Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Pick, sure, let's do it. P pick something for your squad to wear. So that's that's what we're wearing. Who's our squad? The strippers? All right. No, no, no. Uh, you're my god, let's wear the fucking one that says squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the onesie that says <laughs> the one piece yeah, swimsuit one that says squad. Yeah, we'll wear the onesie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Uh, Pick an activity, clubbing, pole dancing class, hiking, or swimming at the beach. I'm going for pole dancing class. Oh, oh yeah, pole dance. No oh, twerking class? What the fuck? I thought this was 2017. Mm. Yeah, right? Alright, so, so I say pole dancing class. Everyone agree? <laughs> yeah. Right. You guys go pole dancing. Jesus Christ. Yep. Five guys. Although, <laughs> uh, say guys. You know. Pick a second activity. Spaz. Blazing! Blazing, blazing, blazing! Imagine a spa day. Imagine a spa day in those one. Blazing. Imagine a spa day in those one. We, we, we won't. We won't be able to win this. Four twenty. We, uh, we have to give this to Nick. No, we won't be able to talk Nick out. We're not fucking with fucking shopping. Go to a strip club or go to a spa day when you could just smoke some weed, watch some porn, and fucking <laughs> blazing. <laughs> All right, pick something for dinner. You have to. You have to think of me here, right? We have to pick something for dinner that that would be good for me. So, right, so steak, ugh. Steak. Uh, food. So steak, food. Jump food, seafood, Crabs. And pasta. It have I'm to gonna go for seafood. It has it to be seafood for me. Yeah, it have to. You're be gonna catch CEO. some crabs. <coughs> crabs. I got right. fishing in my pants. Crab. <laughs> Finally, pick a movie for everyone to watch. Oh, Bride oh. Back Mountain. Bride Mayans. Friends with Benefits or Mean Girls? I'm gonna go for Mean Girls because I actually like it. Yeah, I'll go with Mean Girls. Do you connect mm -hmm. with the the obviously Irish girl on the on the front? She's dead now. <laughs> she overdosed. Ah. Uh -huh. Like in real life, which is sad. But yeah. Uh -oh, oh, she was a five. Uh, me, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd give her an eight. What does she even look like? The first one there. Yeah. She's cute. Yeah. So we're going for Mean Girls then? Everyone, uh, I mean, I mean that's kind of the point. Just got resting bitch face. Uh, Michael, we'll let you pick this one because you're the most educated on movies when it comes to us. So, what, what would you pick? Well, see, I would have... See, I would have Mike's picked probably just either... the most educated when it comes to us. I, I, I would have I I picked either, like, in terms of a romantic, I would have picked either Deadpool or Brokeback Mountain for the memes, but none of those are on here. Uh, so I'll go, with you. I'll go with what you said, Keith. I'll go with uh, Mean Girls. Okay. Here we go. Right, Let's now. see. Let's yeah. see when we're going to get married. In one year. Wow. Whether it's a friend, co-worker, or already your significant order, you have already met the one. And it's just well, a matter of time before you well, take I met the next Chad. step. Well, well which, which one of us is it going to be? It has to, it has to be me and Jack. Like, come on. I ship you two. Jack, Jack, I have something to ask you, actually. You know what? Jack. It's very what important. the fuck? What was that? <laughs> Jack, that was uh, that that was Keith's security footage for his dungeon. <laughs> also, it's Skypeception. <laughs> Nick, I mean not Nick. No, no, no. I mean Jack. Jack, I swear, I meant I meant Jack. <laughs> Do you love uh, Nick and not me? No, it's not what I meant. It, it, it was only a one. It was only a no, one time. No, treat. no, 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 Keith. I understand. I I understand perfectly. You know what? I've I've heard this all before. You know, Jack. I watched Jane die. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're getting married next. Spoiler year. alert. Yeah. Uh, no one knows what I'm talking about if they don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. So it's fine. Um, so what would you rate this? Would you rate it a love heart, LOL, fail, broken love heart, win, OMG, WTF, or Q? Broken love I, heart. I'd rate it broken heart. Uh, broken hearted. Well, we'll say broken heart. Why not? Yeah. Seven fine. out of ten. Yeah. Oh, BuzzFeed, I'm not signing up. <laughs> you wish. Why not, bro? You love BuzzFeed quizzes. You might as well sign up so you get notifications. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. I'd rather do anything else. Let's have a look at the comments because we've never done that before. 
Well, let's see the, what people comment on BuzzFeed these days. Whenever the comments load. Great. All right, here we go. Here we go. So, Camille Jet Links Udono, that's a real name, uh, says, you're not getting married. You're super content with your day to day and not super focused on looking for love. Just because you don't meet me at the altar doesn't mean you won't find intimacy. Well, the devil is a liar. Bam, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> well, that's a BuzzFeed oh. comment for you. And that is episode 8 of Saturday Night Soundbite. How's everyone? How's everyone's feeling? I'm ready to stop this. Uh, thank you, Michael, for joining us today. I, ho- I hope you enjoyed his company. He, he is probably <laughs> the only one that kept us intact through this episode. Uh, I, I hope. To, I hope to join. A, I hope to join Saturday Night Soundbite again next week. Well, you're welcome. Are, are, you, you, are you trying to replace me? I'm already <laughs> the only, only thing Keith's heart needs. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of have this thing set up next week. Although, since it is your free week, like you're on spring break, you know, it's probably a, an idea, definitely. But I want to get Tafkar in here so that he All can right. rant about why he thinks Ratchet and Clank 2 has the best story. You're wrong, mm. by the way, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah, get him oh, and uh, gang rape him. Sh- shame- shameless plug here, but uh, for anyone that actually gives a shit about my channel, uh, I am wor- my computer is dead, but I am working on... Uh, I'm working on videos. I have a big two-part video. Both of them are rants, although part two, you are going to hear me scream. Yeah, bro, I unsubscribed because you haven't uploaded in a while, bro. Come on. (laughs) My my computer is... I even clicked the little bell for the notifications. I didn't get any notifications. My computer is dead. Side note, could you imagine, Mm -hmm. like, you're talking to, like, all your... You're talking to, like, your Chad buddies, like, after, like, spring breaks over. (laughs) Chad buddies... (laughs) Well, you know, Chad, that's like a, that's a term for like a, a total Chad, but like you're talking to all of them, like after spring break's over and they're like, Hey, what's up, bro? How'd you spend your spring break, dude? Oh yeah. You know, bro. Is that like the clubs and stuff like that? You know, hit up a few bars. What about you, Michael? <laughs> oh yeah. I was on a podcast with a, with a few uh, buddies who, who have a gaming channel on YouTube. <laughs> look, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> look at this dude. Does it look, look like dude. I care? <laughs> Does it look like I care? I'm a dork and I love it. Well, well said. We love Wise you. words. I love your dork and. <laughs> Are you uh, cheating on Keith? <laughs> See, Keith, what? Keith, uh, because of his accent, I thought he said he wanted to be in an open relationship. <laughs> I said, you know, I said. I watched Jane die. But, um... Nick, were you going to say something before I play us out to the song of the week? Yeah, I was. I was, in fact. Did you know that the guy who composed all the music for Star Wars never actually watched the movies? I wanted to say... I wanted to say... Hey guys, thank you for watching this video, and I just want to let you guys know. And that was episode eight of Saturday <laughs> Night Stand by. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, press that bell for the notifications. Don't forget to uh, don't, uh, don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> We're, we're, we're playing you out right now to the next song and Andrew's obscure song playlist that apparently will never get flagged even though every single song has gotten flagged so far so thanks for that and um, yeah until next time have a good day and use protection goodbye friends stand at the end of the line faith spell
Take